What's up everyone, Sebastian with Press Start Seb. As you can see, new room and new video. So I just graduated university, so I'm back home. And as such, my uploading is gonna be a lot more consistent. And I wanna start that with a new Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strikers video, breaking down the eSports video from France of uh, gameplay of Kakashi. And so what I wanna start doing is once I feel like I've got enough uh, gameplay footage of a particular character, I want to start doing a breakdown of that character, the ninjutsus or ultimate jutsus, and where kind of information is lacking, we can do some speculation. And that's going to be particularly relevant for Kakashi Sharingan ability, because it's kind of really inconsistent, so I don't really know what it is, so we can break it down together. So as I said earlier, this gameplay footage is coming from Gamescom of an eSports team based from France. And I guess what they did is one of them played, the other one captured the footage on a cell phone. So obviously the quality is not the best, but this is probably the best look we've had at Kakashi so far. So I thought it warranted a specific video to kind of break down some of his unique characteristics. So we'll start now. And see Kakashi's here fighting Sasuke. He uses Lightning Blade, so that's the ninjutsu that he's currently got equipped. And you can see here when he's fighting, Kakashi uses a kunai for his melee attack. And I'm not necessarily certain that that's um, like a weapon ability, like a weapon slot, like a Kusanagi or a Samehara, for example, or if it's just the unique melee style of Kakashi. Um, we'll get a better look at it later on in the, in the video. But you can see we're kind of jumping around, doing things that ninjas do. And we can see here that the lightning blade actually homes in. Kakashi jumps from here and then quickly lightning blades and it shoots him down. He doesn't ultimately hit anyone, but it shows that it has a homing ability, which is going to be really, really advantageous for someone using that attack ability. And then we're going to see him use a Kamui down here, which looks like it kills Sasuke in one hit. You see the KO pops up there. Um, they had said there wasn't going to be any single KO hit abilities. Um, so I imagine that he was just low on health to begin with. I'm not necessarily sure the range or how it works. Again, the homing ability there. And one thing I want to reference is the, Shur the Sharingan. So we're going to go back a little bit to some footage from earlier when Kakashi activates the Sharingan. Okay, so it's coming up here. You see he activates it and then immediately teleports through a Jutsu. So I'm not necessarily sure if the Sharingan... I've seen some speculation videos saying the Kakashi Sharingan ability is going to kind of function similarly to a shadow clone or a, a transformation jutsu where you turn to the log or something for Kakashi it's a lightning blade as we can see in the bottom right corner um, so you'll see he'll face through the, the ability but the one thing that's really unique about the Sharingan is it, to let you know that it's activated you there is a red glow that you can see and it's really evident in this gameplay footage here so it's it's turned off now you don't see it and when it begins to be used again, you can see that uh, that there is that red glow. And another thing, that's, it's not about Kakashi here, but it's about Sasuke. It seems like he's doing a Kirin, and if so, there are invincibility frames, so he's not actually getting damaged. You see Kakashi's punching, 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 and nothing's happening. And he launches the Kirin, but it looked is red. There's a bunch of flames you can see here as it, as it turns around. That's clearly fire, not lightning. So I want to know if maybe that's just a, if it's a fire release jutsu. Or there's different iterations of the Kirin, or it's just because it's an early build of the game. I'm not sure, but I don't know of any Sasuke fire release jutsus that come from the skylight that it's typically only Kirin. But that is not necessarily uh, to do with Kakashi. You can see again, he's fighting with his kunai, beating up them Sasuke's. Um, whoever's using this Kakashi seems to be really proficient. Boom, another KO. I'm not sure if they're facing other um, player controlled characters or if these are AI. But he's fucking, he's doing pretty, pretty darn well. So the string on activated again, you can see that red glow from his face as he's moving to let the player know in addition to, that was a really good look at it, that instead of having to look down to see if it's refreshing, if they're using it. So you can see Kakashi stands here, he's got the kunai in his hand, as the, right there, bam. And so he captures the flag, grabs it, and this is going to be a kind of an uninterrupted run back to, um to the base he activates the Sharingan right here and so what this makes me think is that if 
it's strictly a combat related jutsu there would be no reason for him to activate it here so a lot of people are saying it activates similarly to a substitution jutsu um but if that's the case i don't see why he would turn it on um just for his run it, it has to offer some other kind of buff and then again he's gonna land here bam the gameplay is over so we're gonna loop it again right now so you can see we're gonna go back and what i want to focus on right here is this bottom right corner in which uh, Jutsu's Kakashi's got uh, equipped and what it looks like when he has his Kamui fully charged. So you can see the going from far left to far right. Far left looks to be a uh, lightning clone substitution which is obviously a signature of Kakashi. So obviously there's going to be a lot of different iterations of this be it a shadow clone for Naruto, lightning clone for uh, Kakashi, a water clone for Kasame. So I like that it's not just going to be a simple like log substitution. There'll be a lot of different iterations in what it what it does in terms of its ability and just straight uh, visual differences. Followed by the kunai, which also have a, a recharge or a cooldown rather. And the second one is the lightning blade, which we've seen seems to have some homing properties where it shoots you and projects you to the character that you're currently locked onto. Followed by the Sharingan, which again is a great deal of speculation. So make sure to blast the comment section what you think it is from this video or from other videos. It seems to function where you you, you turn it on and it, it kind of substitutes attacks so you don't get damaged, but also at the end you see him using it when he's just trying to run back to the to capture the flag. So I don't not necessarily know if it offers a player buff or um, I, I honestly have no idea and that's why we're here to speculate. I'm really excited to see more footage to kind of cement what that one ability is. And then the last one is the Mangako Sharingan uh, for Kamui and we saw it again a little earlier and it did that one hit KO. Whether or not that's going to be an actual thing, there is uh, interview footage with the game designer saying that he was not going to have any OP one hit KO attacks. So there has to be something go else going on here. whether. Uh, the enemy was already low on health, or again, early build of the game, things haven't been optimized. But let me know what you guys think, and if you like videos like this, um, more Kakashi stuff, more Naruto to Boruto stuff, I'm super excited for this game, and I think it's going to be fantastic. I'm excited to see the different characters. I know character creation is going to be a huge component of this game, but for me, I'm really excited to see how each of the canon characters are going to be handled and how their unique jutsus are going to be reflected in the game. So don't forget to subscribe for more content. I want to keep pumping these Naruto to Boruto videos out because I love, love, love this game. So as always, guys, see ya.